The Tasmania is a very beautiful, isolation place. It looks like Crimea in Russia. At first, everything was very unusual, but here are so many beautiful, inspiring places. I look for inspiration everywhere. I try to see, feel and hear. All of this gives me inspiration. For me, uh, there is uh, no a very big difference because we had uh, the same isolation for all year. As we have just moved Hobart, we still don't know many people. But a uh, husband started uh, work from home. Person I can speak, <laughs> a real person. And I really enjoyed it as I had someone else to talk to beside our daughter. I graduated a graphic designer, but uh, drawing and working as an artist is a part of my soul. Moving to Tasmania has given me the freedom to create and explore my practice. We live near the forest and every day we see carawongs, parrots, cockatoos and magpies. I was so inspired, I started to draw Australian birds. As they are so beautiful, they fly and are full of color and their faces and eyes are so detailed. Australia also has so many different animals and for me it's all new. So I am inspired, like a child, seeing these things for the first time. Ah, the most difficult thing is in working from home is a small kid. In Russia I painted in oils, but today having a young child at home and no studio, I need to work with materials that are child-friend, like watercolor, acrylic, like pastel pencils, and uh, paints what is drying very fast. It's uh, very difficult to work with my daughter at home. She wants to help me put her little fingers into my painting. It's very funny, but it's very hard to concentrate. But I needed to make it work as I want to create and grow my art practice. We are really lucky as we have large window and the natural light that comes in the morning is perfect for drawing and explore and mixing up different techniques. I am exploring a lot of different mediums and challenging myself to experiment and create just what is in, in, inspiring me at that moment. I started another Syria with reptiles. They are not Australian, but have very interesting faces. These animals like iguanas and chameleons. Tried new technique with uh, white uh, silhouette and uh, colors under the white layer. I am an artist and not a marketing person, but these are new skills that I have had to learn to get my work out to an audience uh, where people can buy my art. There is a lot of practical things that needed to happen and choosing frames and because we are in Tasmania shipping the work needs to be well thought out. It can be tricky with large works to find packaging. My husband has been very creative making our custom packing. I decided I needed a business card and wanted to be a connection of me. So I experimented uh, and made my own. They're like mini artworks. It's also the cheapest way of making cards. 
I always try to make at least one artwork a week. One day I, I will be inspired by the light, the clouds and the next it's the sea and ocean. The light in Australia is very different from Russia and so each day I find I see something different, maybe a color, shade or it could be a sound. I have been exploring ocean and seascapes in acrylic. I have a lot of inspiration. I can see and feel the ocean because we live near the open water. I ever love waves and wind, beachscapes, and I think it's very Australian. I decided to show it from the birds flying. I want to see the depth, the sunshine appears on stones on the bottom. It's very interesting. I have been exploring a lot of different styles and techniques since we arrived in Tasmania. My goal now is to have my own studio space and gallery.